Welcome to RC4 Wireless and part three of splitting your voltage. In today's video, we're gonna look at how to take fairy lights, which need about 3.2 volts, and connect them to your RC4 wireless dimmer, which needs about five volts. We're gonna use a four dim today. In this process, we're gonna use batteries in series and voltage splitting. Now this video is geared more towards a novice user. We're gonna look at the simplest way to do this. So let's take a look at what's inside of our fairy lights. First, obvious thing is that we need three battery cells, AA batteries. We have a switch here, which is gonna get replaced by our RC4 wireless dimmer. And then underneath this casing, we have a resistor. So what we need to figure out is the best way to add one more battery cell to this so that we can power our C4 device at the same time, not blowing this up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a four cell battery pack. This four cell battery pack gives us the four cells needed to control our RC4 unit. And it also gives us the three cells we need to control our fairy lights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split our voltage off part way. We know that three of these cells is what we need for the fairy lights. We're gonna add an extra wire over here, a positive, and that positive is gonna to go to the positive of our fairy lights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my fairy lights out of here. So this is the positive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark it so I don't forget. Okay, so we've got a little bit of identification on there. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna disconnect our negative, which has our resistor. We wanna keep that resistor. Keeping the resistor is really important for what we're doing. To connect this all up, what we wanna do is you're gonna connect the negative, the, y, the extra line that we just added, to the negative of dimmer A. All right, so now we're gonna take our negative, we're gonna run it to dimmer A. And there you go, that is connected. We have these four battery cells that are feeding the DMX4 dim, and the negative is continuing on through dimmer A all the way to our fairy lights. For the positive, a reminder that we are not coming from the fairy lights to the DMX4 dim. If you do that, you will blow up your fairy lights. We are splitting our voltage off after these three cells. So we get where the negative is coming out, we're gonna follow our three cells, we're right here, we're splitting that voltage off, it's going off to the fairy lights. Now that we're wired up, our DMX4 dim has data and RF. We're currently set as an ISL curve, basically your LED curve. And let's go ahead and fade up. It works. We have full control. So we're sending these three cells to the fairy lights, all four cells to our dimmer, and our fairy lights work. And there you go. It's that easy to split your voltage and connect your fairy lights to your RC4 dimmers. Make sure you keep that resistor in line. And if you cut down the number of LEDs in the string, make sure you adjust your resistor appropriately. Thanks for joining RC4 Wireless. Make sure you drop a like, ring that bell, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with new tutorials coming out and how-to videos.